Welcome back guys. And this lecture, we're going to be working with subroutine definitions. Again, this is section five, lecture two. So let's jump right into it. So subroutine definitions. Before I'll explain all this good stuff about subroutine definitions, We've previously have been working with built-in Perl subroutines. For example, the print subroutine, which displays information visually on our screen that uses standard output. So again, for you previous programmers out there, instead of the name subroutine, they're usually called methods, or functions in other programming languages such as C, C++, and Java. But in Perl, they're called subroutines. So, what is a subroutine? A subroutine is nothing more, again, but a group of Perl instructions or statements to carry out a specific task. So, we're going to actually define our own subroutines in Perl. So in order to do this, we can use the keyword sub followed by the name of the subroutine. Now the name of the subroutine, we still have to follow the rules of the Perl identifier, just like defining var variables. Then the indentant block of code within the curly braces and within the curly braces, that's where our Perl instructions will go to carry out the task or our Perl statements. So this is a little quick example of what a, a defined subroutine or user defined subroutine looks like. So again, we have our keyword sub, then we have our Perl identifier name or our subroutine name that we can define. And I used a mixture of both letters and underscore. So print underscore name is the name of my subroutine followed by a pair of parentheses. And at the bottom, I have my opening and closing curly braces. And again, all I want to do is to carry out an, inst an instruction called print. And again, print is a built-in Perl subroutine as well. So pretty much in a nutshell, that's the definition of a subroot subroutine. We can define our own subroutines and we can use Perl built-in subroutines as well. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know and I'll see you guys in our next lecture.